So here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do. So here's the UFC featherweight champion Ilya Topuria, undefeated when he arrived at the title fight against Alexander Volkanovsky, and he was able to break through and get the job done. There is an undeniable sophistication to his game. He is a layered striker. He can grapple. He can wrestle. I haven't seen anything resembling a weakness on film, but I think his greatest asset is his ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in combat and also to exercise some patience when it comes to pursuing a finish. He's one of the best finishers in the division, but it is never forced, it is never bad out of hell, and that's why right now he's the hunted and not Volkanovski at 145 pounds. All right, well, the tension is palpable. Both fighters have now graced the octagon, ready to go with this massive fight here at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, USA. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the enforcer. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Ilya El Matador Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, the still undefeated Spaniard, Ilya Topuria. And even before he became the world champion, his Instagram bio said, UFC featherweight champion. Self-belief and confidence are not issues for one of the more sophisticated fighters and athletes on this roster. He just has a wisdom and a maturity that belies his years, and that's why even in a matchup like this, he will be patient, he will be calculated, and when a window opens to close the show, more than likely, he'll close it. Nice technique on the sidekick. Good defensive vision to block that punch. Oh, nice straight left there. Topuria gets the early take. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Ooh, arm triangles in tight. It's getting in very tight. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he got it. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, right into Mo. He's got to start throwing now. Nicely done. Topodia getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Lands 
the ground and pound strikes. Topori is in half court. Get the ball here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how, how skilled both of these men are. And immediately gets the underhook. Oh, he better pull the smoke. Oh, hip toss to get him down. Well, he's got his back now. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. What a beautiful jab landing there. Back and forth we go. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. And now that jab starting to get established. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Beautiful defense. Nice ball. Shot for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, sidekick. Well done. Getting the hands going here early. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive these over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Ooh, what a punch. Another Down like that might be the stop, difference. Stop, stop. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react Ready, real fight. quicker. Ready. Second round underway. Getting that left hand home to the target. Topodia going for the leg kick. He misses. Clean punch. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. His right eye's closing up. 
leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick leg. Oh, nice counter jab there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. The issue with that kick, and the fact is that it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Beautiful kick lands there. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight I would play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial artist. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Topuria's bleeding from the mouth now, a cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Oh, sneaky there, the ankle pick is good. Back to his feet. Nice job by him defensively there. Just over three minutes now to go. Side control now. Fighters are inverted now on the ground. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, he escapes! He got out! I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did in the previous round. Topuria gets the single leg takedown, well played. Massive shot from the top. Now he's got a good body position, yup. Oh, arm triangle, arm triangle, arm triangle. Now it's tight, there it is. Side for him there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh. Lands the jab. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Yes, yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's going to show itself. Oh, flying knee! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Back to the feet. Uppercut lands. Oh, another uppercut finds its home. That eye started to go. Nice counter left hook to the head. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take him to give him. Right. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round, and maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek. While it's in a better spot, it is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Takedown defense right now by the champ. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. Oh, that body shot hurt him. He's just beat great timing on that double leg. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Oh, he's got to get to you. It's tight. You better protect your neck when you're fighting this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. Oh, he's out. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are, because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on him. Work. Takes his back now. Work. Gotta be careful here. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now... Oh! Stuffs the takedown without issue. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up. Right What a fight. Tawoya goes in for the takedown now, and he gets it. Nice fight IQ there after he had gotten stunned on the field. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Final seconds of round three. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. 
Alberto Cunha. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut <laughs> on Ready. his cheek. I'm just saying. Ready. He's got a big mouth. Good. <laughs> We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five bad All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. The, the energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt trapped around their waist. It's amazing. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, that's got to be it. How in the world did he escape that submission? All right, side control now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Very active off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Changing the position. Oh, he got to his spot. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of five. Might be a submission attempt here. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle because the guy hit arm bar. Oh, oh, it's a oh somehow, some way, you got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, now it seems as though the referee has closed his distance, monitoring the action closely. I think there's potential to stop this fight due to swallow right? Yeah, it's only a matter of time. And it's in the reactions, right? Every time he gets hit now, he turns away. He moves away from the fight. If you're a fighter, you do not want to be avoiding the contact. But how could he not when he's been beaten this bad? Bang away with those yep, got to be very careful there. Topuri is in half guard now. There it is. Now he's won the out. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Now he's going full mount. Under two minutes now to go. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Beautiful reversal on the ground. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, is that a joke? Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. He's going to choke him. There it is. He needs to work on his position. Oh, Ezekiel choking. He somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. Oh, man, how much can one man take right on that already swelled area? Might need to call in the doctor here soon.
great job landing from the top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, that arm triangle is wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. He's worked, guys. Yeah, Paige and Alexio let it. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips, facing, and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Oh, and mercifully, there's the Stop. horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. Don't be stupid. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. You ready to fight? Ready. Here yeah. we go, fifth and final round. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Oh! Oh, we're getting to finish here. Big shot to the head. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. Oh! You heard it real bad. Watch the strike. Topori is limping. That would suggest that the leg kick is having the desired effect. Great punch, that is useful. Oh, nice takedown defense. He got hurt again. Topodius are going towards the left now. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. At what point do you at least call in the doctor to look at the cut? You got you right now. I mean, right now, someone should be in here looking at how they can save this fighter from himself. When you're in a clinch, you can throw it down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Down defense is there. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. If you're going to go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for the right good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, this corner can stop it. The referee can stop it. The doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over. So Moody is looking for a Darce joke here. Oh, my goodness. I think he might have it. you got to be kidding me. He's out. It looks like some swelling is forming after that ground and pound strike lands. Well, defense doesn't always win championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight thwarting one attempt after the next? Yeah, the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Ilya Topuria. Oh, right into Mount. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, my 
goodness, he got out again. Wow, that is fantastic submission defense. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tire never... Oh! Oh, this could just about do it. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. The cut men on both sides have done an outstanding job keeping these guys in this fight. 15 seconds. Let it get Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by TKO and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Enforcer. All right, so there he is, the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word, it's, it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that one moment to hear Ann New. And then they want to hear Ann still, but before anything, you got to hear Ann New. And when you hear it, man, it's like a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. You know in that moment, that nobody will ever take that away from you. That belt goes with you, and it will live with you for the rest of your life.